I'm Sarah, welcome to The Daily Englisher. The video I recommend today is from a famous kids educational TV program called Sesame Street. This video is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, which is a parody of the famous story Jack and the Beanstalk. My favourite part is when Jack gets to the top of the Beanstalk and he says, Gee! And then a bee comes along and says, not G, it's B. G is similar to wow or gosh. G, exclamation, especially American English. A word that some people use to show that they're surprised, impressed or annoyed. In the Acadia report today, students at Acadia University were asked the question, where is your favorite place to study? I think this is an interesting question. When I was studying Japanese really hard, I studied in all kinds of places. When I was going for walks, on the train, at home, in libraries, cafes, restaurants, even bars sometimes. I liked the variety of studying in different places, but I guess it depends a bit on what you're studying too. So what do you think? Where is your favourite place to study? place to study is definitely in my room. I know a lot of people like to go to the library, but I love to sit on my bed and do my work. My favorite place to study is the library, because I get distracted very easily, so I like to be in a place that promotes learning and studying and academic study and all that. My favorite place to study is at the Irving Center. I love sitting out by the gardens and having the water in the background and classical music playing. Uh, my favorite study, place to study in Ottawa U. My favorite place to study is the library of home so I can concentrate more. Kia ora, in Stick News today, Wikipedia is planning to spend almost $900,000 to make the editing process less scary. Wikipedia is an encyclopedia that anyone can edit, but the Associated Press reported that the unfamiliar feel of the editing process probably turns off people who could otherwise make valuable contributions. So the foundation that runs Wikipedia has just received a grant to try and make the editing process more user-friendly. They plan to assemble a five-person team to identify what exactly is turning some users off. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 4th of December. Kia ora. It was a pretty warm day today, so I decided to go for a walk in my new neighborhood and take some photos. I saw some trees, the library, the fire station, a convenience store and a cafe, the city hall or council buildings, however you want to translate it. It's called Yakuba in Japanese. I also saw a dental clinic and I don't know what this building is. It's some kind of government office. This looks mysterious. Maybe it's the department that deals with alien contact. At 4.30 it was 6 degrees, quite warm for this time of year. Today's word is distracted. Unable to pay attention to somebody or something because you're worried or thinking about something else. In the Acadia report today someone said, I get distracted very easily. What's your favorite place to study? What's a family restaurant? Fast food? You don't like studying at home? How about at the library? Really? Where? I quite like studying in family restaurants or cafes. It's a kind of fast food restaurant. Yeah, I used to go to a place called Saizedia and just pay for the drink bar and maybe buy a salad or something and then just study for hours. Not really. There are so many distractions at home. You weren't allowed to study at the library near my house in Tokyo. 
I guess because it was quite small, so if they let people study, then it would just fill up with school kids studying, and there'd be no places left for people who wanted to look at the books. Why was Jack sent to the market? A. To sell the cow. B. To buy a cow. C. To buy some beans. A. Why was his mum angry? A. Because he came back with the cow. B. Because he came back with beans. C. Because he came back with nothing. B. What did his mum do with the beans? A. She cooked them. B. She ate them raw. C. She threw them out the window. C. What did Jack do when he saw the beanstalk? A. He cried. B. He decided to climb it. C. He cut it down. B. What was at the top of the beanstalk? A. A cow. B. Jack's mother. C. A giant. C. And that was The Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.